Today we're gonna talk about energy. As a certain president calls it, high energy is one of the most important things you'll ever need in order to achieve anything in life, literally anything. What's high energy? What's high energy? Have you ever like seen this person? He seems like he's on coke or something. Like he's always like, yo, yo, let's do this, do boom, boom, this. We're gonna go here, this, that, that. That's what high energy is. Now, obviously I'm not saying should be on coke, whatever, but it's like these people who always like, they don't, they're always like on. They're, they're always like, when you go at a party or something, they're like the, the, the people who are like dancing or they're the people who are like always like upbeat in a good spirit. You know, when they're working, they're always like, oh shit, I have this idea, I have this idea, boom, boom, boom. Like when they're training, they're training hard and shit. That's high energy. Low energy is the people, for example, they're like, oh, they're like, you know, you talk to them, you know, they're not, they're not really affecting you. You know, you don't really feel the, the, the magic, the spirit when you talk to them. They're just, they're just low energy. Like everything they do, it's kind of slow. It doesn't have an impact. Now, how does this relate to working and success and becoming better? The higher energy you use to do anything and to attempt something, the better your results will be. Let me give an example. Let's say I give you a certain task right now. Do this. For example, I give you a project. I want you to sell 100 Rubik's Cubes. Whatever. Rubik's Cube. I used to do Rubik's Cubes. So Rubik's Cube just fucking went into my head. I want you to sell 100 Rubik's Cubes. If I give this to a high energy person, he's gonna be like, all right, boom. He's gonna call everyone, cold call, cold call, cold call. Just approach random people on the streets. Just fucking just, hey, you want a Rubik's Cube? Da, da, da. Like, he's gonna be high energy about it. If I give it to a low energy person, he's gonna be like, ah, uh, yeah, this is really gonna work. Yeah, okay, let me try my first cold call. All right, just do, 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 do. Uh, we don't want a Rubik's Cube. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, okay, what should I do? So, high energy is always the way to go. How do you get high energy? The number one way you get high energy is by tuning and making sure that your vehicle that you're in has the highest capacity that it can have. What does that mean? I'm talking about your body. Your body is the vehicle that you use to achieve anything. It's like a car. High energy is like being in a car. If I'm high energy, I'm like in a Lambo. If you're low energy, you're like in a Honda, some broke ass car, right? Now, in order to be high energy, it starts with being in peak physical condition. Look at, look at the spices. You see this? You see, like, I'm, I'm ripped as fuck, all right? Let's put it like that, okay? Like, look, at, uh, you see this? Like, you see your shoulders, everything. Like, I'm, I'm in a superior vehicle. In fact, I just came back from training, had a hard workout, and lo and behold, I feel high energy because I produced high energy. Does that make sense? The people who sit on their couch in bed all day long, they're not training, they're in peak physical condition, they have like fucking bitch titties, you know, no six pack, like not really working out, no physical conditioning whatsoever. Of course you're gonna be lower. Like think about it. Let's say your body was a car. You would have a vehicle that is just lower, inferior while others have a vehicle that is superior. And one of the best ways to do that is to be in peak physical condition. Peak physical condition, peak nutrition, and then also interestingly, sleep. Now, I used to always hate on sleep. You know, I always used to say, you don't need to sleep that much, da da da. Like if you're really working hard, you know, don't sleep much. I changed my mind, I changed my mind. I've realized if you actually just get in eight hours of sleep and you wake up rejuvenated, you're gonna have higher energy to complete any single task in the day. You're gonna work out harder, which is gonna make your body grow more, which is gonna give you more energy throughout the day. You're gonna have your nutrition on point and you're gonna ha have higher energy. Very, very simple, very easy. Now the second thing, the second thing which is always gonna give you high energy is confidence. How do you become confident? So I wasn't always as superiorly confident as it was right now. How did I get there? Well, very, very easy. I forced myself to do things that would make me respect myself. And because I did things that made me respect myself, it made me confident. 
because what the fuck, I did it. Doesn't make sense. So for example, when I was 14, I'd be afraid of this girl. I wanted her to be my girlfriend. And there was two options. Either I was a pussy about it and didn't talk, about, and didn't talk to her, or I was like, fuck it, like literally in school. Like think, picture like school, high school, right? This chick, she looks, you know, she looks hot. And I'm there. And I'm like, shit, you know, I wish she was my girlfriend. Two options. Either I pussy out, never talk to her ever, or I just hit her up. So I start force myself to do things that made me uncomfortable, but maybe respect myself. So then I go up to this chick and I introduce myself. Hey, my name is Prince. Da, da, da. What's your name? Like just, just that alone made me respect myself more. And then it, I started doing more and doing more and doing more. And it started escalating. It started escalating to the point where I achieved financial success, which is in the top 1% of anybody on the planet. I achieved a physique, which is top 1% of anybody on the planet. I achieved female success that is top 1% on anything on the planet. And I did that. Like, does it make sense? I did it. It's written. It's, it's, it's written in stone. It's written in history. So why the fuck would I not be confident? You are confident if you show results. Have you never seen this person? Let's say he hits like this basketball shot. Even if it was a lucky shot. Fucking gets the ball into the net. All of a sudden, yay! Yo, yo, what the f did you, did you see this? Yeah. You know what that is? That's being confident about a result. But now picture this. This is me 24-7. Because I just feel like I, I just always have results. Like I, I, I walk down the street and I just look into someone's eyes. Just, you know, just regular, you know, just, just look at him. All right. Body. Okay, better, better results. Cash. All right, I mean, been in private planes and shit, you know, fly private, business class. I flew into this country business. This guy looks kind of broken. Let's compare. All right, Rowley, Christian Dior, Ralph Lauren, custom made pants, estimated, estimated amount of money that this outfit cost, 20 grand. All right, better result. Does this guy look like he can pull more females than me? Yeah, probably not. All right, boom, automatically confident. I'm winning. So I'm confident, which gives me high energy. Like, <laughs> bro, it's a simple fact. If you're winning, you have high energy. If you're losing, you have low energy. Doesn't make sense. If you win a game, soccer game, football game, everyone's like, oh yeah, we won. That is high fucking energy. So you need to make sure you're winning. The cool thing about winning, though, is you can start winning in small tasks which can, like I said, escalate. Like, I didn't start out, you know, just being a dawn with these bitches and just, you know, attracting females all over the place. You know, I don't want to get into details. But the point is, I started small. I started in high school when the chick in front of me, right? I didn't know if she was going to say yes or no. I wanted her to be my girlfriend. And I didn't even know anything. But I just mustered the courage to just at least say hello to her. Just, hey, my name's Prince. What's your name? Oh, cool. You know, like, you know, what do you like to do? Da -da -da. All right, cool. Yeah, bye. Now she knows who I am. Done. So not, like, not that complicated. I just, small win. Boom. Then do it with another chick. Do it with another chick. Right? So stacking small wins. Now I approach this random girl that I, that I thought was hot in the streets. You know? Like, my inner, like, like the inner bitch would have said, don't do it, but I did it. All right, boom. Now, now I'm escalating to this point. All right? And then, and then it comes to the point we have like, you know, I'm at a party and, and there's like, there's like 10, 10 bitches around me here, you know? And then I'm just like, I, I make out with this girl and then I make out with this girl and then I make out with this girl, just all three at the same time. But, but like, I, I, my inner bitch was like, yeah, should I do It's like, fuck it. I'm, I'm Prince. Pff, fuck. Of course I can kiss three bitches at the same party. Who cares? And then you hold this head, hold this head. You just make out with them at the same time. Like, you know, like, of course I'm going to feel like a winner. And then you just stack it. It starts getting crazy. You know, you start making your first $10. So then you start making your first one grand. Then you start making your first three, three grand. Then all of a sudden, 50, 100 grand. You start stacking it. And that's how you start feeling like a winner. So high energy is extremely important. Remember what I said. Number one, to even start with the shit, peak physical condition. That's always going to give you base confidence. Because if you walk down the street and you look at your body, you look at this guy's body, you're going to feel confident. And on top of that, peak physical condition entails that your mind is going to be in peak physical condition. 
You cannot be in peak physical condition with your body, I mean with your mind, if your body is not in peak physical condition. Because body and mind is linked. And then second, make sure you're winning all the time by doing the small things that your inner bitch tells you not to do.